how to build a list with Deal Machine List Builder. So you don't have a list tab anymore. You're going to go into the map tab. So we've made it really simple. It's all in one place. So what I do is basically the same thing that I did on the other view. I'm gonna go into my either quick filters, pick some of these filters. It's going to grab from the area that I have in view right here, or there is another way that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But say I wanna build one with, you know, absentee owners, all right? It's gonna pull those for me. You can see it's just like in the other list builder. It says 324 properties in viewing area match the filters. And I can build the list now. But I wanna show you what if I don't want it in this big of a span? What if I want it down to one or two blocks? I can go ahead up here in the left and go to start drawing and I click over and I build the perimeter that I want. So now it's gonna tell me there's 14 properties and you see it just hones it in to what you drew. And then I can go into build list. It's gonna ask me if I wanna confirm. I say yes, it builds it, bada bing bada boom done. All right, so I wanna view this so I can go to view list. Now these are gonna end up going into your leads tab. So we go to view list. You're gonna to go to your leads tab. It's gonna open up a new tab. Say I wanna change the name of this because it's kind of a little bit, you know, custom area 46545 and then I have to go through all the flag tags. So I'm gonna to go to those three little dots right there. I'm gonna do view list. And then right here in the info, I can go ahead and say that this is 46545 absentee owners two block and then the correlating streets with it. Now you're also gonna see that these are smart lists. So smart lists automatically update with the criteria that you have set. So say I, I did this with absentee owners. So let's say one of them gets sold and it's not an absentee owner anymore. That's gonna be taken off of the list automatically and vice versa. So if one turns into an absentee listing, it's going to automatically come onto this list. It's going to start getting put into my marketing campaigns that I have going through that list. You don't have to continually re-pull these lists, see if there are new properties that match this criteria. It's automatically going to update. So then I'm gonna confirm my changes and I can see that list right here. It's also gonna show me the list stacking feature right here can tell me how many other lists are correlated with this property. So we'll go into list stacking in another video. You can check it out from the link above. To look at your other lists, you can go to open lists and you'll be able to search through your lists or you can scroll through them. You can pull them up, they will become new tabs. So then you can pin the tab as well, but that's also in our leads tutorial. All right, when you're on mobile and wanna build a list, it's the same thing. What you're gonna do is get into the area you want. I'm going to go in here and do property type, single family. So it's gonna say 72 properties. And then I'm gonna say more, I'm gonna say that it has high equity. Equity percent is greater than 70. Confirm, apply. So it's gonna show me then 41 properties in the viewing area. So like I showed you before, but honestly drawing on the phone is way more fun than the computer because you just click this little draw button up here and all I have to do is literally draw a circle. And it's gonna show me that. I'm gonna click build list, confirm build. Boom, it's done. And I can go ahead and view my list just like I did on the other one. So if you have any other questions about list builder, how to build lists, go ahead, ask them in the comments below. You can also check out our map and filters video to go through more of the filters that you can use when building a list. We really hope this saves you guys time because it's all in the map tab. We are gonna be going through more of that. So when you are done with this tutorial, highly recommend going to our map and filters tutorial to go through see all that virtual driving for dollars so that way you know what you can pull, what data there is, and then also how to find those off-market properties. And as always, happy deal finding.